Hey everyone, welcome to this week's two minute critique. And as always, super excited and ready to dive into things. So remember, this is not about trashing people. This is about helping you get better by learning through the mistakes of others. So when I was coming up, I wish someone would have critiqued my images uh, and at least pointed me in the right direction. So even if these aren't your images, you can still learn from it. Uh, so let's dive right in. First image up, uh, looks like a bridal portrait. Doesn't really matter to me if it's on a wedding day or not. Excuse me, phone call. Uh, doesn't really matter if it's on a wedding day or not, uh, but it's a bridal portrait. I kind of like this urban flair, but I think the makers got some mistakes right out of the gate. And so something that's jumping out at me, don't forget, it's not all about composition. Composition doesn't bother me in this particular shot. I kind of like her arms on the wall. There are different layers. Now, some things could be some things could be better on this. That hand uh, on your, as you're looking at the screen on the left-hand side, it looks a little fake. It's too stiff. Uh, she's got to loosen up those fingers a little bit, get them on the wall, right? So I always tell them to feel like there's an egg uh, in between their, um, in the palm of their hand, right? So they don't go flat with it. They just feel like there's an egg there and, you know, they gently put it on the wall. So that's a good tip or trick to kind of guide them. But here's the thing. As cool as this alley is, you've got a color problem. Color is also part of your shot. And so the problem in this particular shot is you've got this dark, black on the right hand side and this stark kind of I don't know I don't even want to obviously it's not white it's like a tan uh, but it doesn't matter it's they they don't match and so that's a problem in this shot visually my eye is having a problem and I keep wanting to grab look at this image for a second close your eyes and then open them you keep wanting to gravitate towards that white wall you keep getting drawn in there it's the wrong thing that's not what should be done there so that's something that could be done that I just wouldn't have taken the shot here, or I would have found a way to work on just one wall or the other. So if you go back to that spot, do that. Cropping is also driving me batshit crazy here. How many seconds? Yeah. So look at that spot up there in the sky. Very distracting. Of course, it's the brightest spot, and that's not where I want to be. So something as simple as just cropping down into this, look how that now gets you to her, and it's less distracting. So those are... Two things that can absolutely help you get to where you need to be. All right, I'm going to try and stay on time this week. I don't know if that's possible. All right, next image up. Guys, sometimes I just feel like I'm being punked. Like, this is not a portrait. This is very bad. Um, and I mean it, for, like, with the nicest of sincerity. It's just not a portrait, okay? So if you are the maker and you submitted this and you really want feedback, I'm going to give you feedback, okay? When we're making a portrait... You're trying to tell a story. And from that perspective, I get it. There's a story here. Uh, they're dancing, right? But that's like where the story begins and ends. I could have done this and probably done a better job with my iPhone. So let's stop, right? I, I want to tell you where we could have gone better. First of all, this is not helping your shot. That flash, useless to the shot. It's just not helping. Might be illuminating the couple, uh, but it's not helping the shot. So you'd almost be better off cropping this, right? Because what's this guy doing over here? He, how's he helping the shot? Like it's just some dude in a chair, like very sloppily in that chair. So what if we crop in and we get a little bit tighter in here, right? So, okay. We square this up, still a little bit distracting. Maybe we crop in just past that. Make this a little bit even. Now we're getting him into the center of that frame. Okay, now that distracting light's there. But here's the problem. Who is this a portrait of? The back of the bride's head, right? We don't, we don't want the back of the bride's head. That's not the portrait. Why is there a flower plant growing out of her butt, right? That's not what we want either. That's not the goal of this shot. There's no way that's the goal of this shot. And there's no way they're putting this up on their wall. For, and, and let's add to this. Where's our groom's expression? Right? He's not... Is he interested? Is he looking off into the future? Is he looking lovingly at her? Surely during this dance, there was that moment. So this is really bad, okay? And I, again, I mean it because I want you to get better. You've got to make better decisions when you're making this image. Uh, and I know my two minutes are up. You've got to make better decisions. The planter, you can move your feet. The, the spot on the left, you can change your focal length. These dead lights that are here, not adding to the frame. You would have been better off maybe getting a zoom lens, right? And zooming in here 
with a really tight lens, getting rid of all these distractions, and then just trying to tell that story somewhere in here with a shallow depth of field. Even that would have been better than what you guys did. So take that feedback, everybody. There was a lot wrong with that image and try and figure that out on how you uh, can not do an image like that. So, all right, next image. Let's move me up here. All right, so this to me is an environmental portrait. I, I, that's my takeaway from this particular shot. Uh, and remember, a portrait, we're trying to tell a story. So for all I know, it's, it's forcing me to think, right? So let's see if you're the maker of this image or you're watching along with me. Is it getting you to think about the same thing that it's getting me to think about? So when I look at this, I'm looking at the guy in the background, right? Is he, is he a monk? Is he a priest? Uh, right? What, what's the story there? Okay. So it's getting me to think that. Now I, now I go to the gentleman who's standing there in a plaid shirt. And it's making me think there's connection, I hope, between him and this portrait, that's this painted portrait, uh, that's behind him. Is it a, a relative? Is it something he painted? Is it right? What's the connection to that? It's at least making me think. So if this is an environmental portrait uh, to that point, I think you're, you're telling a story and you're getting me to at least think about it. Um, some things that could be better here. I think there's room for improvement here. This is not helping the shot useless in the frame, either crop in, edit it out. It's on the wall. It's easy to edit out. Uh, but it's definitely not helping. Uh, I do like what's happening here. I do like the hard shadow. I feel like that was a good thing you were trying to, to, to do. But here's the problem. I'm going here, right, instead of going here. I'm not getting there. That shadow cutting across this and these hot spots here are actually not helping this frame at so whatsoever. So again, Close your eyes. That's the trick I always use. Open them. Where are you going? Damn it if you're not going right in here. And I don't think that's what you want. So if you're the maker, you've got to learn how to control light. You've got to learn how to use fill. You've got to learn how to do some editing behind the scenes to alleviate that. Recover some highlights, things like that. All right, next image. Last image today. Okay, so bridal portrait. Um, you know, uh, kind of, I, I like that we're getting closer and intimate. So I'll tell you what I do like about it. Uh, I like that we're getting in there closer, but I am distracted by a few things that I think could be better here. First, this right there, that little flower looks like it's growing, right? It looks like it's hanging from the trees. Uh, I, I'm not a, uh, an expert on this stuff, but you can see how that's kind of distracting all of a sudden, right? So look, check this out, man. Even with limited time, and bad photoshopping, look how I can get rid of this, right, and at least make this a little bit stronger. Now, like I said, it's bad photoshop, but that's gonna make that image uh, better, right, with and without, with and without. It's too noticeable, right, it's too, it's too prominent. So we didn't have a shallow enough depth of field and it's not far enough away from her. So that would be something I would remove from this. The next problem I'm having with this is up in this foreground. So what's happening is this here is kind of a distraction right now. We can't crop in on this. So this is one of those things in post. We can't just crop up, right? You can see this. This isn't going to make it better because we got to start cropping up into here to have it. So what I like to do is I like to have my couples, okay? Um, drop those flowers just a little bit and allow me to focus. And this is another one of those images. I highlighted this last week where everything is so evenly lit. I really want to get, I really want to see some dodging and burning uh, on this so that we don't have to uh, see everything as bright. I want to burn that down, get to their faces. So that's this week's uh, two minute critique. Again, hopefully you've learned something. The spirit of this is to help you get better as a photographer. And if you can learn just one thing from it, uh, success is mine, guys. So we'll see you again next week. Hope you enjoy it. Like below, make a comment, share the love. Talk to you soon.